60 yeah. seconds. You got it. No problem. Try and stay straight on me. Yeah, it's flying in. Okay, can someone get that? How are you doing on uh, drink? Uh, excuse me. I have a trivia question. How many people are playing the game today? So, you're playing with yourself, huh? Cookie, please. Sorry. Just type your name in, okay? Get the grape, put them there, and walk away quickly. I, I can get him. Hey, you know what? I also need to know if you had plans for a 21-question game or a 7-question game. Here, try it. Yeah, what it. the hell happened here? I, um, 30 seconds. I gotta... Your buzzer is the letter B, as in more bang for your buck. My roommate, uh, he's out for the night. She's like, this Make it happen cool. before so, I blow so a gasket. Like, well, 20, wanna, uh, 20 seconds. Yeah, do you want to put 20 on? 20 seconds, 20 seconds. All right. Uh, when you when you know an answer, buzz in. If you don't, don't. But if you buzz in, you only got a few seconds to pick one of the choices or you're going to lose cash. All right? Okay. Ten seconds. Good luck to you. Okay, Nine. here we go, everybody. Let's Eight. lose a desktop Seven. and uh -oh. go to black. Six. Five. How about you. Four. Call me. Three. Here we go. Nine hundred tuna. Please wait an hour after meals before calling. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Hey, 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 all right, how you doing? Ah, the game of solitaire, I got you. Hey, I'm here alone too, so let's get it on. All right, go ahead and pick one. Let's have some fun. Here comes question one. Category, let's do it. Caveman and condiments. And this one's worth $2,000. Okay, get your fingers ready. Let's get busy. If the mighty thunder lizard Tyrannosaurus Rex wanted to add a little zip to his next meal, which of the following is a real dinosaur he might use as a flavor enhancer? Saltosaurus, Pepperosaurus, Mustardosaurus, or Ketchupasaurus? The Saltosaurus was a type of brontosaur with bony plates. Saltosaurus? No thanks, the high blood pressure. Right, sorry. Okay, pick a category. This one's gonna be VCR programming and other astronomical feats. 3,000 bananas for a right answer here. Okay, take a shot at this. If your Quasar VCR only recorded images of its cosmological namesake, of which of the following would you have plenty of footage? Suddenly bright stars, the third closest galaxy to ours, stellar explosions, or extremely bright heavenly bodies. And this is the third closest answer to the correct one. Let me take a second of my time to show you what's right. Quasars are some of the brightest things in the whole universe, pretty much opposite of you. Come on, we need a category. Put on your pants for the naked dance. Three. And this category is when you wish upon a moving combine. And 1,000 bucks is riding on this question. Okay, hang tight, put your fingers on your buzzers, here's the question. Imagine that Jiminy Cricket loses his ability to chirp in a sad and grisly wishing accident. If he wants to imitate his old method of chirping, what instrument would best suit his needs? Oboe, bass drum, trombone, or washboard? Crickets chirp by rubbing a serrated wing against an opposing wing, so Jiminy is going to want to choose a washboard. <laughs> No more flying for him, <laughs> but he could teach Geppetto the accordion and make a kick-ass Zydeco band. Take your pick, what do you say? The light sounds of question four. This category is monkey trouble. Two G's for a right answer. All right, listen up. John Scopes, who in 1925 was tried for teaching Darwin's theory of evolution, could really have used some expert monkey testimony to win. Because he's the only one who could talk, which of the following fictional primates could have actually spoken in Scope's defense? King Kong, Lancelot Link, Curious George, or Cheetah? TV's Lancelot Link is the only one of these primates who could talk. Uh, will your honor please tell the witness to stop scratching his butt? How 
about it, we need a category. Number five. Okay, coming up, this category is Judy Bloom Beyond Puberty. This one's gonna be $3,000. Check this out. Judy Bloom once wrote a book about a girl who's confused about her religion. Suppose she rewrites it but replaces the girl with a major political figure. Which title would work? Tales of a fourth term congresswoman. The one in the middle is gold in my ear. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret Thatcher, or Super Fudge Ferrara. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> Yes, even Maggie Thatcher went through puberty once. Come on, we need a category. Can you dig it? Here's it. The category is... Is that a pointy bra or are you just happy to see me? Get this right, get $2,000. Okay, it looks like it's time for another trip out back to the dumpster to rummage through some celebrity trash. Let's see here. I found a mesh tank top, a mini skirt, an empty container of hydrogen peroxide, and a crucifix necklace. Whose trash is this? Madonna from her Vogue phase, Madonna from her Lucky Star phase, Madonna from her Like a Prayer phase, or Willie Nelson from his Experimental phase. You must be a lucky star. Ah, remember the good old days when all Madonna showed you was her belly button? Okay, pick a category. Uh-oh, chest butt sits grime floor. It's time for... Flicker Kiss Don't Stop. Alright, this gibberish category is... Don't Touch My Candy. We're gonna start out with $5,000 here. Alright, I'm taking cash away every second and a half. So the faster you are, the more you score. Okay, now tell me, with what ad slogan does this rhyme? Move from the wrong payday, see? And, uh, don't get confused by the punctuation. It's an ad slogan for a brand of cigarettes. For a brand of cigarettes that's sold primarily to women. Oh, Virginia Slims. Gotta be. Last clue. Don't be long, baby. I mean it. Hurry. You work hard, you've earned it. Go ahead, light up. Move from the wrong pay, Daisy. Oh. oh yeah, remember when it was unfashionable for women to get cancer? Alright, go ahead and pick one. Order me the taco plate with a side of question eight. Category three is a magic number. Okay, the right answer nets you 1,000 bucks. Hang on tight, cause here we go. Which of these groups actually has three members? The Three Musketeers, Three Dog Night, The Three Stooges, or The Three Amigos? Once, twice, three times an amigo. I like The Three Amigos and The Baby a lot better though. It, it was so heartwarming. How about it, we need a category. The category, open wide. Get it right, get 2,000 bucks. Okay, Bob Newhart's pal, Jerry, the orthodontist has a problem. So he asked Bob for a little after hours psychotherapy. Jerry tells Bob he had a dream his tooth was being pulled out. Assuming Bob's a Freudian, what does he tell Jerry his dream indicates? Fear of haircuts, fear of castration, fear of impotence, or penis envy. That's it. Sigmund said that fear of a tooth being pulled out represents a deep-rooted fear of castration. Come on, we need a category. The story of a lovely lady. Hel Helen, are Helen, are we calling Florence Henderson? Happy birthday, Buzz. All right, kids, we're making a celebrity click call to Carol Brady, a wife of, uh, of Mike and, and the kids and, and uh, aunt of that Oliver. Florence Henderson, everybody. Okay, uh, I, I'm, I'm calling Florence Henderson right now. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Is my breast stink? Jeez. Uh, breast stink, what am I saying? All right. 
Hello? Excuse me, I have a collect call from Buzz at You Don't Know Jack. Would you accept the charges? Oh, well, of course I will. Hi there, Buzz. Hi, Mrs. Brady. I mean, Mrs. Henderson. Sorry. Oh, don't you worry about uh, that. You oh. know, people make that mistake all the time, Buzz. So, what can I do for you today? Um, well, well, I was, um, you remember that thing that, that uh, I, I had some people call you and um, that we had talked about? Yes. Um, I, I was hoping that today you could come up with a trivia question for our contestants. What do you say? Well, I am the queen of trivia, I think. Um, I bet your contestants want me to ask a Brady Bunch question, right? Right, uh, if you wouldn't mind. No. <laughs> no, not at all. I'm used to it. Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to put you on with, uh, with our producer, with Cookie, and uh, he can explain how things are going to take place, and um, we'll get back to you in a few minutes. And, uh, oh, don't, don't be put off by Cookie. He, uh, sometimes he can be a real stinker. Now, Buzz, you know I don't like that word. Uh, I, I'm... I'm sorry about that. I'll, I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay. Okay, we'll be right back with Florence Anderson. But first, let's pick another category. Take your pick. What do you say? Alright, next up. Achy Breaky Cyrus. Pay attention, three grand on this one. You know, it's possible that country singer Billy Ray Cyrus won't ever have another hit. But, if Billy Ray Cyrus' next hit single were based upon the accomplishments of Cyrus the Great, what might the song be called? I'm a Russian czar, you're a Russian out. I ruled Persia, but you rule my heart. The first man in Sicily, still just a boy. Or, I'm drunk, I'm lonely, I'm king of France. I ruled Persia, but you rule my heart. <laughs> Cyrus the Great was a Persian emperor, and much like Billy Ray, there were a lot of people who wanted to kill him. Halfway there, ten more questions coming at ya in round two. Okay, pay attention, cause all the questions in round two are worth more money. Hey, we are back on our celebrity collect call with Florence Henderson. Uh, do you think I can call you Flo? No. <laughs> okay. I'm set with a question. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Let her rip. Oh, uh, by the way, I loved you in that Weird Al video. Oh, thanks, Buzzy. Get over me, <laughs> please. The category is Carol Brady 101. Okay, and uh, we're going to make this one worth 5,000 Johnny Bravos. Put your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. Which of the following statements about Carol Brady is not true? She slept on the left side of the bed. She was a practicing vegetarian. Her last name was once Martin. She once rear-ended Uncle Fester. Was Carol a practicing vegetarian? You got it! <laughs> oh, Carol was no vegetarian. Take it from me. She definitely liked a juicy piece of meat. Oh, uh, wow. Hey, Miss Henderson, that was great. I'm so unbelievably honored to have talked to you today. Uh, <laughs> you, you have no idea. Um, you were like a mom to me. Oh, thanks, Buzzy. That, that was both touching and pathetic. <laughs> Uh, that pretty much describes me well, to a T. Well, I got another call. I, I really have to go, Buzz. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye, uh, Florence. <laughs> that was actually Florence Anderson, guys. Okay, let's go on to the next category. How about it? We need a category. Twelve. And we call this one Murder She Dumped. We are talking four big ones. Okay, peel your eyes, free your mind, cause here we go. If Jessica Fletcher for Murder, She Wrote gave up her mystery writing and pursued a career as a Fletcher, what might the show be renamed? Racket she laced, arrows she made, rugby she played, or tennis balls she had? Arrows she made. A Fletcher is a maker of arrows. Yeah, that's all we need. She's scary enough without being armed. Alright, go ahead and pick one. Take the elevator to 13. The category is Just Say Yes to Kitchen Safety. 4,000 bucks behind this one. It's time to fill in the blank. Limber up those fingers. When you know the answer, buzz in and start typing. If the main body of the state of Michigan were a giant oven mitt, which body of water could most easily extinguish its burning thumb? 
Come on, make me proud. Type in your answer and hit return. Lake Huron surrounds the thumb of Michigan. But if Michigan's thumb is burning really bad, it should just stick it up in Canada for a while to cool it off. Okay, pick a category. And this question's category is Emery and Divery. 2,000 bucks for right answer. All right, fingers limbered, cause here comes the question. If you were to see a beauty parlor with a sign in the window stating ivory sharpening a specialty, which would you not expect to see among the clientele? Walruses, hippopotamuses, rhinoceroses, or elephants? No, walruses produce ivory. Their tusks can grow up to two feet long. I <laughs> don't think you should try tickling those ivories. <laughs> Too bad you didn't choose this. <gasps> the horn of the rhinoceros is actually made of the same stuff as hair. They could just go to a barber shop. Yeah, how you doing today, Al? Just take a little off the horn and then trim up the sideburns, will ya? <laughs> Come on, we need a category. This category is Alice's Cooking. Pop a right answer, you got 4K. All right, here's the deal. Lately, the Bradys have begun to complain about the humdrum meals Alice has been serving. So, instead of the familiar pork chops and applesauce, Alice decides to serve tripe and applejack. What are the Bradys having for dinner? Butt steak and a dessert cheese, tongue and apples au gratin, stomach lining and apple brandy, or sweet breads and breakfast cereal. The Bradys will be washing down the stomach lining from cud-chewing animals with apple brandy. <laughs> with six kids to only one bathroom, the Bradys are in for one hell of a night. How about it? We need a category. King 16! And this category is Bill and Ted's Excellent Renaissance. This one's worth $4,001 bills. Imagine that Bill of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure travels to 16th century Europe to study art. He later tells Ted about one particular piece of art he grew fond of. When you know the answer, buzz in and type in the answer. Dude, I saw this most excellent picture. Jesus and these 12 other dudes. They're like kissing his ass. You know, they're at a dinner table. It's a total munch fest. Now, what famous painting is Bill describing? Okay, let your fingers do the walk-in. Type in your answer and hit return. The painting Bill is so eloquently described is Da Vinci's masterpiece, The Last Supper. And he'd probably describe the winged victory as that chick with no head. Take your pick. What do you say? Category, let's do it. Oompa, Loompa, Lollapalooza. We got four grand on the table. Okay, here's the deal. Daddy got her a golden ticket, a tour around Wonka's factory, and a goose that laid a golden egg. Now, what does that spoiled bitch Veruca Salt want now? Veruca Salt insists that Daddy take her to Geneva for the Salt 2 talks at once. When she arrives, what will she be talking about? Sodium adjustment licensing, Swiss almond liqueurs, strategic arms limitations, or Symbionese arms liberation. That's right, cash money. Daddy, I want to sit next to Mr. Brezhnev. Alright, go ahead and pick one. Excellent choice. It's time to play Dis or Dat. Category for this Dis or Dat question is... Breakfast cereal and biology. Now, I'm gonna read off seven brands of cereal, and for each one, I want you to tell me if the thing pictured on the box is a picture of a mammal or a non-mammal. As each one comes up, if it's a mammal, press one. If it's not a mammal, press two. And to skip, press four. You get $1,000 for each right answer. But I'll take it away if you get one wrong or if you're just too slow to reach it. All right, let me have 30 seconds on the clock. Let's do it. Frosted Flakes, mammal or not a mammal? Lucky Charms! 
Sugar Smacks. Rice Krispies. Blueberry. Special K. This is it. Wake her up. That's all she wrote. Well, blow me down, Popeye. Let's see your score now. There's a little sugar for you. Let's move on. Come on, we need a category. Like a bad Hollywood scene, it was question 19. <laughs> okay, coming up, this category is Let's Go Monopoly. 2,000 bucks riding on this one. All right, here we go. You walk down Mediterranean Avenue, take a cab to Marvin Gardens, stay the night in a hotel on Illinois Avenue, and then head for Park Place. And what city are you? Atlantic City, New Orleans, New York, or Las Vegas? That's right. Atlantic City, the only city in the U.S. where you can get out of jail by rolling doubles. Okay, pick a category. The Fresh Saver. 20. This one's gonna be, I'd like to teach the world to do the hustle. We're talking 6,000 bucks for this one. Get your fingers ready, here's one coming at ya. Shaking your booty is great, but it's pretty small scale. If you really wanted to be bold and shake your booty, what would you be doing? Gyrating East Africa, vibrating Central America, jiggling Southeast Asia, or pumping Micronesia. Djibouti shares borders with Somalia and Ethiopia, so you should be gyrating East Africa. It's fun, it's good exercise, and it makes the Iberian Peninsula insane with jealousy. Alright, go ahead and pick one. Okay, I'm not wasting any time. Let's get into the attack. Don't forget this clue. I can always count on the Bible. Hmm, well if that's true, then say your prayers. show. Uh, thanks, Buzz. Let's roll commercials and uh, find out what's happening. Cookie with the players. Hey, contestant, you're the new high scoreboard leader. What are you going to do next? Go to Disney World? Yeah, right. When you come down to reality, let me know when you're ready to play again. It used to be on beautiful late summer days like this, I could lose one, two, even...
even three fingers to my seasonal leprosy. But thanks to Leprosid, I don't have to worry anymore. Leprosid, for that time of the year when your leprosy grinds fun to a halt. Before I started taking Leprosid, playing sports was next to impossible. Whoa, oh, sorry, can you hand me my racket and some twine? But now, no more unsightly tennis accidents for me. And I don't have to worry about losing my dog on walks. Sparky, Sparky, Sparky. Thank, Thank you, Leprosy. Daddy, will you play Crack the Whip with us? Yes, I will. Leprosy, because leprosy might bring you down, but it shouldn't break you up. Consult physician before using. You may not really be a leper. Hi, I'm Bernard Fleming, Executive Director of the MRP Foundation. I'm here to remind you that cold and flu season is just around the corner, and thousands of people will be in need of your help and your mucus. On behalf of this year's Mucus Recovery Project, I'm begging you, please, please give early and give often. It's a little-known fact that many people are physically unable to produce their own mucus. For them, phlegm is just a dream. The reality is they're left high and dry. But with your help and others like you, life-enriching and body-cleansing mucus can be gathered, purified, and redistributed to to the folks who really need it. The MRP is completely self-supporting and gets no help from Washington. That's why we need you. So what do you say? How about hocking one up for those who really need it? To find out how you can help, contact the Mucus Recovery Project at 1-800-HOT-TUI. Please, give a spit. Oh, thank you. Hi, I'm Donnie Dunghill, and this is my son, Don. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, anyways, we're the owners of the Dunghill Burial Emporium, and sons. Unfortunately, we have lost our lease, and now we must have special clearance sale, because they are kicking our ass out. Oh, well, easy come, easy go. But here's the good news. Go ahead, Donnie. Why don't you tell them our coffins have been chosen by more families than the other guys? Tell them that the name Dunghill has been synonymous with quality since 1942. You said it, Bob. Yeah, and one other thing. With our clearance sale, everything must go. That means we're selling our finest mahogany caskets and concrete burial receptacles right, for Bob. dirt cheap. Isn't that right, Donnie? So anyways, if you need to bury a loved one, please do it before the end of the month with Dunghill Burial Emporium and Sons. We bury the competition. Yeah, you got it right, Donnie. Hey, kids, look what I've got for you. Mr. Sticky Buddy! Yay! It's the new toy kids are going wacky over. It looks like a stick. Not just a stick, dear. It's Mr. Sticky Buddy. Mr. Sticky Buddy, stick not included. Hey, Sheila, what'd you get for the Judeo-Christian winter holidays? Oh, I got an Eleanor Roosevelt doll. Bummer. I want a doll that's fun. Well, come on and play with my new Mindy doll. You got a new Mindy? I got new Miami Beach Mindy. Look. Wow, her own bikini wax kit and mustache bleach. And I got her little sister, throwing up Sandy. Wow, they're so thin and beautiful. With Miami Beach Mindy, I know that math is hard, but who cares? We'll never be paying for our drinks. Miami Beach Mindy. Condo sold separately with Executive Greg Dowell. 